All right. All right. Well, welcome to the BNI Blast on Blab. If you're listening to this in the replay, retweet and share this with your followers and fellow BNI and business networking colleagues. <clears throat> the way we always like to start off our BNI Blast on Blab shows is a little introduction or description of what BNI stands for. <clears throat> BNI acronym for Business Networking International. BNI is the largest business networking organization in the world, with over 180,000 members. Last year, BNI generated over six million referrals, resulting over eight million dollars in this first uh, BNI offers the opportunity to share ideas, contacts, but more importantly, um, so if, at this time, if you're just if you're if you're on the replay or if you're coming into the room, um, click that little tell little bird button or tell your friends <clears throat> to, to make this little to share this out there a little more. I'd like to introduce myself, but before I do that, I'll have my co-host Philip uh, tell us a little bit about himself. Hi, I'm Philip Day. I run my own business called Philip Day Communications. I'm a copywriter, a website developer, voiceover artist, and basically help communications for businesses to business and businesses to com consumers. I live in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm an avid cyclist and love history and got a lot of other interests too. But anyway, um, <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight with BNI Blast on Blab. Very good. My name is Brian Lobig. I'm an internet marketing strategist. That's my new title this week. I like to, since I own my own business. Like, <laughs> you can call yourself whatever you want. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's a benefit. <laughs> my own check. Um, I'm That's here right. in the area. I'm, I'm out of uh, Kensington, Maryland, which is just about three miles from the northwest D.C. border. Um, services I provide are web design, internet marketing. I consult with other marketing firms. Um, my biggest client is the Bethesda Blues and Jazz Club and all their internet marketing. Mm -hmm. And then um, I also do a lot of search engine optimization. The name of my BNI chapter is BNI Capital Business Alliance, since we're just outside of the nation capital. So I want you to go ahead and introduce uh, our guest. I am very excited tonight to have our special guest, Estra Rowell, and she is known as America's Life Coach. Now, I'm not going to tell you too much about what a life coach is because we want you to hear straight from her, but she is a longtime member of Business Networking International. She lives here in the Charlottesville, Virginia, the Central Virginia area, um, and she's just she's got a lot of life experiences, both as a um, as a businesswoman and in just being a member of our community and being a, a, a involved. So we're really excited to have you here tonight, Astra. Thank you thank for coming. You. Oh, well, thank you both Brian and Philip. I'm excited to be here. Well, Phil and it's actually, well, Phil and a little bit. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Tell us a little bit of America's life purpose coach. I just wanted to say. Go ahead, Astra. Go ahead. So, go oh, ahead. no, I just want to say it's America's Life Purpose Coach. So it's a, a specific. America's Life Purpose Coach. Yes. yes. Thank you. So, so tell oh, us. Ahead. Yeah. It, oh, go No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did you want me to say anything more about me or you want to? I didn't know. <laughs> oh, well, we've, we've got tons of questions. So just okay. sit back and relax. Tell us, a little, <laughs> okay. tell us a little bit about where you're from and um, how, how yeah. long you've been. And I, and then something personal about yourself, people might be interested in. Okay, well, um, well, I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, at least I have been for the last 33 years. <laughs> um, I'm I'm technically in Rockersville, which is a little bit north of Charlottesville, and uh, I have been in BNI. You know, I can't remember. It's been a long time, and I actually started in BNI as a Mary Kay consultant, and. Um, went through another, that's why I'm a life purpose coach. I went through another one of those uh, times in my life where I realized, you know, I don't think this is what I want to do. I want to do something else, but I don't know what it is. Uh, but when I figured that out, um, I was able to actually change my certification or my classification, I guess it is in, in BNI. And so mm -hmm. I've uh, been a life coach for the last six years. So last, I know I've been in BNI for six years, but I think it's been probably a good Maybe ten years I've been in BNI. Wow, so, ten uh, years. Okay. Yeah, and uh, 
I, uh, something personal about myself, let's say I, I'm married, I have a son and uh, two grandchildren, yeah. and I volunteer at the SPCA with the cats. I'm on the cool cat crew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're an animal lover. I know that. You care about animal welfare and yeah. um, the, taking care of animals. Yeah, that's something that's special to you. So. Yes, yes. All right. Well, now, Straw, we've the term life coach is becoming part of the, the mm -hmm. cultural lexicon now, um, as we've talked about. But it, but a lot of people don't even really understand what that means. You know, it might make for a good movie and <laughs> commercials and things like that and parodies. But in real life, a life coach is someone who can be very beneficial to, to someone who's going through some big changes and uh, trying to kind of figure out where they're going in their lives. So it's, tell us how critical, what a life coach is for one, and then, you know, how critical that can be in someone's, a, a woman's life as, as you work with. Oh yeah, I work with women, but it's it's great for men too. And, and actually it's, mm -hmm. it's nice. Uh, I think for men, they like the idea of a coach rather than a therapist. And, um, and there's definitely a difference between the two, but it's, it's really nice. Uh, I think what I like about the idea that coaching is, is taking on so much, it's funny to see how it's portrayed in Hollywood sometimes. So there's some misconceptions, I think, to clear up. Uh, but a life coach is really somebody who is trained to partner with you to help you gain clarity uh, on your vision for your life. What is it that you really mm -hmm. want to create? And then to help you mm -hmm. uh, close the gap between where you are and where you want mm -hmm. to be. So where there is a partner to support you, and I think it's important to know what a coach is not. Um, a coach mm -hmm. is not an advice giver, all right? A, a consultant might be an mm -hmm. advice giver. You mm -hmm. might bring a consultant into your business to say, well, take a look at it and tell me what to do. But that's not what a coach does. And I think that's a, a common misperception that a coach is gonna give you advice and tell you what to do. Um, and that's not what we do because we don't we're not in the business of fixing people because we don't believe anyone's broken uh, mm -hmm. And we believe that people have within them uh, Their own answers. They just need help accessing those answers. Sometimes they need maybe to form new habits that are healthier mm -hmm. for them uh, They need maybe some tools to help them deal with stress because everybody is stressed and you can't really move forward in life if you're stressed mm -hmm. um, and uh, a new perspective and so through powerful questions and having a powerful conversation, uh, mm -hmm. we can help people access those answers for themselves. And then we support the action steps uh, to, to help you move forward. When you talk about moving forward, moving forward from what? What, what does, um, where do you encounter people in their lives where they, where they need to move forward? Well, uh, you know, there are so many different kinds of coaches <laughs> and there's so many different styles. So it's, it's really an individual thing. And I know one of the things I do is I basically custom design my coaching. If I'm doing one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. coaching with somebody, it's going to be custom. It's mm -hmm. going to be what that person brings to the table. You know, what are mm -hmm. you having problems with? What are your challenges right now? And where would you like to be? And so then we'll, we'll deal with, with what's going on in the moment. Um, people seek out coaching if they're having relationship issues, um, if they're having parenting issues, there's parenting coaches, if they're having health and wellness issues, um, again, life purpose, um, just uh, stress or feeling life is out of balance, uh, maybe the, the work mm -hmm. and life uh, situation is just out of balance and they don't know what to do about it. So. Um, usually, you know, we, we, we gain clarity exactly on what is that that you want in your life mm -hmm. and um, then do, do uh, processes and, you know, kind of craft an action plan as well to, um, to reach that, that goal or that outcome that you want. So when I say mm -hmm. moving forward, it's about, well, what outcome would you like to see that you think is going to increase mm -hmm. your happiness, increase your well-being? Uh, increase your, you know, having better relationships or your relationship with your children, uh, wh whatever it is that um, you want to, you know, the, the, the client really is client driven. Um, again, as a coach, I'm not telling people, well, this is what I think you mm -hmm. need to be working towards. It's up to the client. Mm -hmm. What do they need to be working towards? What do they want to see in their lives? 
What type of training or, or certification does a life life coach need to become a professional like yourself? That is such a good question because coaching is actually an unregulated business. It's an unregulated oh, okay. industry. Okay. Um, and so anybody can call themselves a coach, which is something that I would caution people about. Um, I, uh, you know, I was in training for a year. There's lots of different certification programs uh, out there. And, you know, my training was uh, over the course of a year. Uh, I worked my tail off. <laughs> <laughs> for the for that whole year right. it was you know because right. life was happening to me at the same time too and um uh it required not only did we have classes and we had uh what we call pod groups that we got together in and to support each other through the process and to work on our assignments we had assignments to do um we also were required to have 70 hours of coaching in before we were even qualified to take our final exam wow. And hours. so, and I actually ended up having more because I kind of got into it, but, um, I can, I can uh, see and, that. and that coaching was recorded. This is the arduous part that coaching, all those calls were recorded and, uh, we would take out the, uh, the part that was, we felt was the most difficult for us or that we could have done better with mm -hmm. and, uh, send that off. We would critique ourselves. And then there are certain coaching elements that you, you need to hit with every call. So we would rate ourselves on how well we hit those elements, send that all into our teacher who would then listen and make her comments about, uh, you know, give her feedback and do her own rating. So it was, uh, you know, with fear and trepidation, sometimes I would send those things in. Uh, but it yeah, was but... also the best part of the training because I'm very kinesthetic. I learned by doing. And so mm -hmm. to jump in there and we, jumped, you know, a month into training, boom, we jumped in and we weren't charging these people. They knew we were in mm -hmm. training. Uh, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, that was really the best part to, to really get that experience and have it supervised. So um, that, that was my certification. And, mm -hmm. uh, and also, you know, I'm a member of, of a couple of professional organizations as well for coaches. If someone were to say, look, I'm, you know, I'm going through a, a change in career, change in life. Um, and they come to you, what, what should their expectations be? What, how should they, because, you know, when you say they're, you're a life coach, I mean, you're thinking, man, you know, I've got some real challenges in my life right now. Uh -huh. what, what can I expect from you? Do you think? Well, Clarity, for one thing, and I know that's where I was. I was very unclear yeah. about what are the next steps in my life, um, which is why yeah. I chose purpose as a niche, actually, because, you know, that's something that I have been through twice in my life up to that right. point. Right. Um, so um, they can expect support. Um, they can expect that they're going to be maybe challenged a little bit, well, lovingly challenged, uh, mm -hmm. in order to get them to stretch. Um, people stop themselves from doing what they really want to do for a number of reasons, fear, uh, expectations that they feel they have to live up to from other people. Um, mm -hmm. They'll tell themselves they have a lack of time, a lack of money, a uh, lack of education. They have a lot of stuff that comes up for them as they contemplate a change. So it's kind of like, you know, they want to go forward, but they kind of want to stay safe and stay back. And that's what the, mm -hmm. the brain does. It'll, it'll right away, it'll start coming up with all the reasons why you can't do something. So a coach is going to help you with, again, those powerful questions, what we call the right questions, mm -hmm. to get you thinking about the reasons why you can, to get clarity on your vision, uh, to help mm -hmm. soothe, what I call soothe your energy. I do a lot of work with uh, the breath and um, a lot of my clients meditate. I, I get them into meditation. Uh, ways, you know, tools and techniques to empower you to feel better in the moment as you go through this. And then uh, support. I'll be your best cheerleader. Um, when you do what you say you're going to do, I'll be right in there, you know, cheerleading for you. And I'll challenge you a little bit mm -hmm. when, when uh, you know, you, something happened and, and you didn't quite do what you said you were going to do or, or you're stuck in okay. a pattern. And I might point that out to them too. 
if I see a pattern, I'll say, can I make a suggestion or can I give you okay. an observation? Okay. Let me hand it to Brian here. I've been dominating all the questions. I could ask you dozens of questions to straw because this is fascinating to me. And I could, I could probably uh, talk way over half hour. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons I asked you because I knew that you would, you're, you're very enthusiastic about what you do. And you believe in it and, and, and have so much respect for that, both as an, as an entrepreneur and just as a, as a human being, because I know that you really do want to help. You want to um, uh, help guide people through this, this maze sometimes, you know what I mean? So anyway, let me, let me hand it yeah. to Brian here. Okay. <laughs> I, I was curious about, um, kind of some process or technical questions um, about the coaching, about being a professional coach. How, first, I was curious about how many um, clients you might be working with right now, and then how many can you really work with um, at one time, you know, being one person as a coach, how many, how many, how many clients do you feel like you'd be able to really handle um, at one time, you know, in your, in your profession? Well, you know, that's an interesting thing because there's lots of ways that coaching can be delivered. So one-to-one -one coaching is only one way. And I think a lot of coaches, including myself, um, there's a, there, is, there are only so many hours in the day and there are only so many calls that, that uh, you know, you, you want to spend your time on. Um, I love one-to-one -one coaching. I love working with people directly. Um, but another way to deliver coaching is through groups. So, and there's a lot to be said for group coaching especially in terms of accountability, because then you're, you're, you're accountable not only to yourself and to the, the coach, but to the group. Um, and people can do a lot of peer coaching and, and bounce ideas off of each other. So uh, groups are a way to deliver coaching to more people. And then uh, through um, products. Um, and I'm working on a lot of products right now. <laughs> um, uh, I'm always updating and switching things around and so on. But um, and so there could be you know self study or email support. Um, there's lots of different ways to to deliver that. So um, you know for me you know 10 to 15 clients one to one is a full full plate. Um, I don't quite have that right now. So <laughs> anybody listening, I'm, I have a few slots open, um, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, and one thing I'm, I'm getting involved in, too, is this thing called, it's a um, mastermind university that this fellow in New York is putting together. And it's not a, an accredited university. It's, mm -hmm. it's where people can go to get the classes that they wouldn't get in school, basically. And uh, so I'm putting products together for that in terms of self-study and then as uh, group coaching. So there's um, a lot of ways that people, and you know, not everybody's comfortable uh, with as a client, uh, doing one-to-one -one as well. So sometimes it's, it's mm -hmm. nice to be in a, a group um, or to test the waters a little bit with a self-study product before you might want to take it further. Have you heard of a, a mastermind mm -hmm. concept, like a mastermind mm -hmm. concept? Yeah, masterminds are great. Okay. I, haven't done, I haven't done that myself, but um, you know, it's, it's a really great concept. How is that different? Explain the concept for us, yeah. Oh, go ahead. How's that different? Yeah, what is a mastermind? So, uh, do you want me to answer, or are you talking to Brian? I'm not <laughs> sure which. <laughs> okay, I, no, I'm not going to ask Brian. I, I can talk to Brian anytime. Well, uh, it, my understanding of it is is answer. getting together, uh, you know, to um, to empower each other and to you know to to put your your uh, experience to support. It's like a support uh, group for each other, um, where it's, it's a lot of peer coaching happens in that, okay. if I'm correct. Um, I think group coaching can be a lot like a mastermind. Um, the coach will have a, a structure to it um, and usually an agenda. Um, it's a little more structured than say like a one-to-one -one coaching session. The client needs to come with, um, with their topic for that day. You know, what is it? What is their intention for that particular call? And it's based on what the client wants. With a product or with a, a group coaching, there's going to be a structure. It's going to be, okay, well, here are the steps that we're, we're taking, and we all work through these mm -hmm. steps together. And then if someone's having a particular issue, um, either the coach or and or the group will help um, the client or, you know, the, the person in the group with that, with that issue. Okay. 
We got a question from the audience. Uh, Momo Card asks, when did coaching start or take off? Do you have an idea of when when life coaching started? It's, it's Yeah, it's been a, um, a gradual process. It started mostly with business coaches, actually. Um, okay. Business coaches and leadership coaches. And to this day, um, many businesses will invest quite a lot in coaches because they realize that they get a huge return on their investment in terms of job satisfaction and, and productivity and so on. Uh, okay. So it started with that. And it, it kind of morphed into uh, people uh, coaching on other subjects. Um, so I'm, I have no idea about the timeline. Um, I know that seven years ago, I didn't know it existed. <laughs> so um, oh, okay. it's, yeah, it was when I was, was kind of struggling around with oh, what's next for me. I had no idea coaching existed, but in getting the help that I needed to get through various <laughs> means, um, I became aware of, of coaching myself and okay. it's, it's really exploded I think in the last few years and there's actually um, a coaching movie that's being filmed right now I think it's going to come out oh. in the spring of 2016 and it's okay. being done by um, a European couple who they're award-winning uh, filmmakers and they've been helped so much by coaching that mm. um, you know they've pulled in some of the top coaches in the world and they have people who volunteer to mm -hmm. be clients which, with, with real actual issues. And so they're filming all of this. Um, and so wow. it's, it's pretty exciting because it's really going to be um, a great documentary really about coaching and, and the mm -hmm. shifts and changes that can happen as a result of being coached. Okay. Well, moving over to a few, um, moving over to a few BNI specific questions. Mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. For those of you who, are, who just came into the room, um, might not be familiar. BNI is acronym for Business Networking International. Each of us in, on this um, on air are members of a BNI chapter. There's uh, multiple chapters, probably in every state in, uh, in most countries across in the world. So I'm curious about your own involvement with BNI. Um, what have you, how long have you been a member? I think did Philip say? Did you say you've been in, in a member for ten years? At, at least ten years. Yeah. I can't really remember. I have to think back to my timeline. But, um, yeah, and I did switch my certification. So the last six years it's been as a coach. Okay. And that's the nice thing about BNI mm -hmm. is they, they, you know, when I said, hey, you know what, I'm doing something different, but I still want to stay in BNI, they let me switch right in the middle of my mm -hmm. membership to a new classification. What, one, of my, one question that you've been involved with so long is what do you, what are you, what do you see as the value of, um, of BNI for your professional career? kept you involved you know um we've always you know in our group we've always been able to attract really really quality people and um that's been a big draw for me because um especially as a solopreneur i you know i could sit at my computer and on my phone all day and <laughs> never leave my house um and uh it's good to get <laughs> It's good to, you know, it gets me out. But I would say, too, like way at the beginning, I mean, I came from, you know, my former job. When I, when I actually got paid to do a job, I was a teacher. And um, I loved it for 19 of the 20 years that I did it. <laughs> um, so uh, I was not used to business at all. And somebody told me about B&I, and uh, I went to visit a group, the, the group that I'm in, and um, they were very warm and welcoming. And what I learned, I learned a lot of, of business acumen from being in BNI. And I learned, you know, getting up and doing the 60 seconds, this was not something, I was not used to getting up in front of people and talking about myself or my business or, or anything. And learning how to do that 60 second presentation and the 10 minute presentation and getting up and doing that with a group full of of people who are for you, you know, they're, they're, they're supporting you. It's a friendly group. And uh, so that was of huge value to me. And just learning the principles of networking. Um, Dr. Ivan Meisner is, you know, I hear him all over the place on people's uh, tele-summits and tele-seminars and so on, uh, really training people about networking. And um, he really is the master. So I've learned a lot about networking from him as well. But I will tell you that the people um, uh, and the interactions and the, the care and concern 
um, I think is, is a huge part of BNI. That's true for me too. That whole, uh, right. the, the, where you have to stand up and, you know, and, and get, you know, introduce yourself in just a few seconds and then trying to keep that fresh. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that on a mm -hmm. basis, you just become a natural, you just become natural at being able to speak to groups. Um, I totally agree. Yeah, that certainly helps. Yeah. <laughs> You it, and it keeps it, it helps you to kind of hone in, you know, when you only have 60 seconds, you really have to think carefully about what's important to say too. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give yeah, it, uh, yeah. a new Go ahead. chapter? Oh, what advice would I give a new person coming into a chapter? Yeah. Do a lot of one-to-ones. <laughs> um, just because you're in the, the chapter doesn't mean people have developed that no like and trust factor. And that's important in, it's important certainly in my business, it's important in everyone's business, I think. Um, when it comes down to it, you know, it's all about relationships. And so, um, you know, get to know the members of your group, let them get to know you, mm -hmm. do, you know, so do a lot of one-to-ones. How many people have you actually coached um, in the group throughout the years? Is it, is it usually outside referrals you're getting or is there, is there many times it's people in the group itself? It's mainly actually been inside referrals. Um, there's been a, a couple outside referrals. Um, and one wonderful member of, of our group um, felt like he had an employee that could benefit from coaching. I'm also a, a, an advanced psyche facilitator, which is a process of belief change. It's rapid belief change, helping to form new neural pathways in your brain and so on. I could go into a whole lot, but I won't. But he actually, I, I call him the golden rule Jones of employers because he actually paid for her to get some coaching with me. Um, so that was kind of inside and outside. I thought <laughs> that was really nice of him. Um, so yeah, it has been, it has been, coaching is not an easy business to uh, refer to because a lot, again, a lot of people, as you're saying, Philip, don't really know what it is. Um, people might think, oh, it's therapy and you're telling me I'm nuts, you know, and that's not what it's about at all. Mm -hmm. um, not at all. Uh, so, um, uh, what, and what I will say what Ivan Meissner says about um, businesses that are harder to refer to is to ask for speaking engagements and get out and speak and mm -hmm. you can pick up clients that way. Yeah, good advice. Well, as we uh, as we close our, our show today, Estra, how would you encourage someone, you know, someone out there may be thinking, you know, maybe I need a life coach. I mean, it sounds like to me that you've got, there are some benefits to this. What would be some signs that they might need a life coach and how can they get in touch with you? Okay, well, you know, just if you're feeling stuck, you know, if you feel like you're spinning your wheels, you're stuck, mm -hmm. um, you really don't know what your next steps might be, um, you could really use some support. Um, maybe you're stressed and uh, you're feeling like, you know, I don't know how to deal with stress. I know stress isn't good for me, but I don't know what to do about it. Um, all of those are great reasons, you know, to, to seek out a coach. Um, you can find me at americaslifepurposecoach.com. That's uh, the same name as my business, America's Life Purpose Coach. Um, and I do have, by the way, a, a free mm -hmm. discovery session that, that people can do to test the waters. Because, like again, okay. as we were saying, there's the no like and trust factor. Uh, people have to, uh, you know, we have to know that we're going to click together. Um, and I would suggest really to people that if they're looking for a coach, that they do mm – -hmm. um, shop around a little bit and, and do probably three, you know, three discovery sessions most coaches give them. Um, okay. and see, uh, you know, who they click with. Interesting. You know. and, and, and they don't have to live, they can, they don't have to live in the same, they don't have to live here in central Virginia. If they lived in Vermont or Oregon or whatever, they, they can do a remote mm -hmm. uh, session with you. Is that right? Right. And as a matter of fact, most coaching, and this surprised me when I went into my training, but most coaching takes place on the phone and I can also do Skype. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, and I've done some coaching via Skype, which is, which is fun. And that's nice because we can see each other and um, uh, just, you know, feels friendlier. But, um, but there's something to be said for having to listen very deeply on the phone when all you've got is a person's voice too. So, um, yeah, yeah. so that's, 
yeah, so people can be anywhere. That's I would say that to me. That's why she seems so natural on this blab because she's used to doing Skype coaching. <laughs> yeah, yes. And I know how to get onto Skype. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I can say that um, just getting to know Straw, I mean, she is a excellent listener. Uh, listening is something that is almost a lost uh, uh, art these days, but uh, Straw will listen. Oh, and if you. there's anyone out there, oh, sure. And if there's anyone out there who uh, who could benefit from your services, I would encourage them to contact you and at least uh, break the ice and talk about it. They may not need you, but they, they may. And, uh, and that's what the discovery session is for, that. too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. By the end of the, the discussion, you're going to know, you know, is this something that's going to help me or do I need to put it on hold or it's not for me? You'll, you'll know that by the end. Okay. Excellent. Very I put, good. Uh, I put in the chat box your Facebook, a link to your Facebook account and your oh, great. coach.com. So that'll be in the history of the, of the show. Um, great. Thank you. Uh, so I'd like to just uh, close with uh, a reminder for people that um, this is your watching BNI Blast on Lab. We'd like to use the hashtag BNI Buzz to uh, get out about um, our show and anything else kind of um, networking international related. Uh, this world that hashtag and so thank you Estra for joining us and giving us some great education on uh, what it is. Estra thank you so much thank you we really appreciate it and uh, we wish you the best and tell everybody one more time your website address okay www.americaslifepurposecoach.com Excellent. Please call her. She can help you out. Great. Thank Let's you. Have a great evening. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Brian and, and Philip. You too. You're